Hello YouTube and welcome to Old Flads and also a massive hello to the All Gaming Network and all its followers. My name is Old Flads and this is Daisy. I'm also going to couple this up as my introductory video just to say a quick hello to you. I'm not going to be spending masses of time just sitting... Oh, an AKM. Sit, just sitting around and running in Daisy as a starter video. But just so you know what this is, Daisy is an Armour 2 mod. And what I wanted to do is sort of show that, yes, the uh, FPS genre, TPS genre is pretty much loaded out by Call of Duty and Battlefield. But there are other games and other like truly exciting, at, but, but different. This is, this is very much the slower pace game. Basically, we're reenacting a zombie apocalypse and the particular map I'm on at the moment is the Mausk. Now most people will be familiar with Chernerus if they've played this game before. Chernerus is it well it's where it all started essentially and I am playing that over on my other channel with a group of friends. But basically what you do you start out with nothing, okay, so if you just ignore very quickly the fact that I now am in possession of an AKM you start out with bandages, painkiller, a map, a watch, and a very simple backpack. Now, you basically have to go around looting various buildings, be them military or industrial. Look at that down there. The, the sight lines in this game never fail to amaze me. And you try and collect as much as you can to try and survive. That is essentially the, the basic ethos of the game. Now, in my other series we we've moved on from survival now and that it's tend to be more about clan battles which on this are just the most exciting tense moments of, of probably any game that I've played on now am I leaving footprints no okay good so I did say this was the introduction to myself and I've just been accepted as a director on the All Gaming Network and I wanted to explain why it was that I applied in the first place. So I looked at various gaming networks and the, 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 gen the general thing, okay, and this is fair enough, is that you are accepted into various gaming networks because you offer thousands of thousands of subscribers and thousands of thousands of views to the network and everyone makes money as a result well the network makes money but the the ethos behind the all gaming network was really what appealed to me I mean they're trying to start from the bottom up so they're a new network and they're trying to use new youtubers and upcoming new uh, youtubers to try and make their channel better and also promote the the smaller channels which which do get lost in inside the the vastness that is YouTube, and I, I really I really think that is just an incredible thing for them to try and do. So that's that's essentially why I made the application, which was probably probably a month or so ago that I made the application after after just making the decision that I really wanted to to try and do something with with YouTube. If you can if you're hearing those uh, little crinkles in the background those those noises that's because uh, the side chat in this also has uh, group comms which can get annoying at times when people misuse it but that guy just seems to be uh, that guy just seems to be falling on his button for some reason so the series I I'm gonna be doing quite a few videos on this. Day Daisy, like I, like I said, is, is a far slower paced game because it's so massive. Let me show you the map, okay? So this is this is actually a small map compared to Chernos and look at the size of it. This is all, okay, for, for a bit of scale, for where, in the middle of the red box, okay, from there up to here is two kilometers and you run at five meters per second. I'm not going to do the maths now, but let's just say it takes about probably 10 minutes to to do anything oh, two, two kilometers takes 10 minutes to run and 
when you're looking at maybe 15 20 kilometers across an entire map you can be you can spend a lot of time running so it's a very sl it is a far slower paced game why are these zombies here now zombies spawn around buildings and you have to be within a certain distance of that building in order to trigger the spawn but I don't know there's another one here as well maybe they're from that deer stand there where we got the gun from uh, and they will chase you and they will keep chasing you as well they, they rely on sound and sight so if, you, if I hide in a bush I'm obviously being very quiet and I'm obviously hidden so they'll eventually get get bored with me and move on to something else this is the biggest, I could not have chosen a bigger hill to run up. Now on the right hand side in the bottom right hand corner you will see four gauges. One is for temperature, core body temperature specifically. Uh, you don't want that going red or going blue, you want to try and keep it in the green. And the reason is if, if it goes obviously too cold then you will go into hypothermia and if it goes too hot you will start suffering from um, whatever the opposite of hypothermia is. I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, beneath that is uh, drink, your water levels, you have to drink co regularly. Uh, below that is your blood levels, that's essentially a health bar, and after that is food. Now you do have to eat and drink. This, is, this game is unlike many others. It's you, you have to continually top yourself up with food, with drink. My god, it's a long way to this point. And whilst you're going along, whilst you're going along in the game as well, you will have to bandage yourself up if you start bleeding. You will have to give yourself morphine if you break your legs. Look at the render distance down there. That's probably the best part of 1,500 meters. I'd have thought all of all of 1,500 meters. I'd have thought. And uh, we're currently heading up to a military base to try and pick up some loot. Although we got a pretty good gun to start with, but a sniper rifle is always nice. Now. The reason that I'm showing you this video now is because oh, I thought I heard uh, thought I heard some footsteps. Then is because once I move up to this point, there is very likely to be other people that are going to try and kill me. So the, the the zombies that are about are fairly easy to get away from, but you don't want to let them hit you because if they hit you, it will clobber you, and you do risk the chance of being knocked out, and then you have to spend a certain amount of time being unconscious while zombies eat you. That's rubbish, essentially. We don't we don't enjoy that. Um, but outside of the zombies, you've also got other survivors. This is not me on my own. There's about 20 people in the server at the moment. It takes up to 40 this particular server. So you do have to be a little bit careful which is good I mean it just adds to the adds to the tense environment that we're in um, th th this is a very very long run a very long run okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the military base and then we'll come back right guys so we've moved up to the entrance of the military installation and this is the time when Daisy starts becoming dangerous because I want to get in there but there's every every chance that although this map is big people tend to stick to the more important loot drop places and military bases that they're, they're where the best loot spawns like there that was a survivor just there so I, I don't particularly I'm gonna to have to talk to him on the comms and make sure he's either friendly or not one second hey mate look I'm not I'm not coming to kill you I am friendly just don't come out here with a gun. I just want to look in the look in the place. Oh man, the zombies come out. So there are various entrances to this to this point. Now I've let him know that I'm friendly. That's fine. Uh, wow, look at all the loot that's just laying on the floor. Another AKM. Where's this guy gone? Thing is, people will shoot on sight. And that's uh, not ideal because that means you die fairly quickly. But we need to find out where this guy's gone. There he is. Quick, come this way, man. Man, run this way. Run with me. Come with me. Okay, so we now got a buddy. He hasn't got a gun. Let's get up to the next barracks, man. So I could have killed him. 
but I didn't want to because he hasn't got a gun. That's not fun. So now I've made a little friend, and uh, I'm not alone on my journey anymore. I know you guys are with me too, but we're not alone. So anyway, I a quick rundown on myself. I'm a 27-year-old married man with two kids. I've been playing computer games for the best part of 20 years. That goes from NES through Master Systems onto the SNES, onto the N64, onto Mega Drives, Dreamcast. You name it, I've played it, okay? Um, I, I tend to favour military games, be them FPS or TPS, um, but on a, on a more tactical scale, I, I prefer... I prefer to have a look at what I'm doing. That's why this DayZ game appeals to me so much. Where's my buddy gone? He's over there. I prefer to look at the game and try and work out a sensible way around it and then attack in in, in that sort of play. You won't find any Modern Warfare 3 games from me, for example. It's it, it, I, I used to love Call of Duty and I used to be involved in clan matches at... at just below tournament level I'd have thought. I was pretty good at it. Um, but I'm just so disillusioned with Activision. I'm not going to go into it now. But I should probably make a video on it. I should probably make a video on why I'm... Yeah. Why I'm unhappy with uh, Activision. Okay. Let's just try and go. Okay, so we're safe from the zombies now. But basically what we're going to be seeing is is not Call of Duty. Not from me. There's enough on this channel anyway. There's some great players, very, very good players on this channel already. So I don't need to be putting that out. I'm going to be showing you a more tactical, slower, but probably more exciting version of the war simulators, army simulators, and, and things like that. Because, guys, believe me, there is life outside of Call of Duty. And not only is it beautiful, in my opinion, it's better as well. And I'm not talking about Battlefield 3 either. I'm talking different games, different environments, and just loads of fun to be had. You may even we may even get to see a few on my few videos on my Chernos map with my with my little clan. Um, I'm not, we're not the greatest, but we do love it and we do have a great time as well, which I think is the most important thing. Anyway, I'm probably going to end this video now. We're just moving up onto the military installation. So thank you very much for watching and I hope I can just give you guys some entertaining and helpful videos as well. And it would be great to see any of you that play DayZ come in, join in the same servers that I'm in. I'll probably put a link in the description. And then you can come and play with me as well. We can make we can make our own videos together and then get them up on the channel and then just just show the possibilities of working with the community because that's 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 what I love about YouTube is meeting new people, playing games with new people and just having a great time. Anyway, thank you very much again. Thank you very much to the All Gaming Network for accepting me as a director and I look forward to working with you and producing things that hopefully will entertain you in the future. Thanks again. Cheers. Bye.